Adam Cole was one of the biggest stars at WWE's black and gold brand, and as of last year, he's tearing up the ranks of the new All Elite Wrestling. While it was NXT that undoubtedly gave Cole his big break, we found out from William Regal that he was actually rejected at first by none other than Triple H. First up is William Regal's comments. Fans will remember that Adam Cole made his NXT debut in 2017 as part of the Undisputed Era, but that wasn't his first crack at the wrestling titan. He had a tryout in 2010 that he didn't ultimately get to do, though he got to appear as an extra on SmackDown as compensation. His first proper tryout for the WWE was in 2013 at their Florida Performance Center. That didn't really pan out for him either, but William Regal revealed a story about that which was quite interesting. Apparently, everyone who saw Cole's audition immediately recognized that he was the real deal. Regal himself was pretty excited to get Cole on board and put him through the live ringer of WWE's hottest new show, but Triple H had a different plan for Cole. He told Regal to let Cole stay in the indie circuit for a little longer. He was confident that with even two more years of experience in the indies, Cole would be 10 times better as a performer, and that would also give NXT the time to find the right spot to book him in. That didn't mean they were going to forget about him. In fact, Hunter's other instruction relating to Cole was to keep an eye on him and make sure he got anything that he needed. So, was Triple H right? When it comes to NXT, the question of whether Triple H made the right call is pretty redundant, and his judgment with Adam Cole clearly panned out in Cole's favor. Cole got off to a pretty strong start, assaulting none other than Drew McIntyre, along with his buddies Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly. The three formed the stable The Undisputed Era, and they had a strong run on the NXT brand. In fact, Adam Cole was off to such a great start that he got a spot in the 2018 Royal Rumble on the main WWE brand just five months after his NXT debut. Over the course of his NXT tenure, he held the NXT North American Championship as well as the NXT Tag Team Championship. But the biggest championship accomplishment he had was his reign as the first NXT Champion, a reign that lasted over a year. Well, he got to wrestle against many stars who were eventually called up to the main roster, that never actually happened for Cole. The Undisputed Era imploded in 2020, and he had moved on to AEW by 2021. It wasn't a bitter breakup either. Cole's contract expired, and he didn't renew. It was just business, and he was making a call for himself. Regal doubts that Cole regrets the shortness of his NXT career. While talking about Triple H's initial rejection of Cole, he spoke about how he'd walked into the NXT ring ready to achieve superstardom, and left the brand at the very top of his game. Few wrestlers can claim to finish off their run on a promotion that strong, but Cole got to do it. The only unanswered question now is if his AEW career will go just as well as his NXT career did. And now for reminiscing over the black and gold. Triple H's handling of Adam Cole is just one example among many of his decisions that made NXT the hottest name in professional wrestling for a good long time. It's easy to forget that NXT started as a reality show that WWE started to replace their version of ECW on sci-fi. That was all the way back in 2010. Has any C show of the WWE's ever had this much longevity? Under the helm of Hunter Helmsley, NXT steadily grew into a show that fans came to love. It put ring performance and choreography before storylines and writing, which proved to be the perfect fit for today's era of wrestling, where everyone's a smart. For a lot of people, NXT was a better show than Raw and SmackDown, and WWE was forced to start treating the NXT as their third show, rather than a spin-off. Some of NXT's pay-per-views have gotten better reviews than those of the main roster. WrestleMania 32 was upstaged by NXT TakeOver Dallas. In its heyday, NXT represented a major contrast to Raw and and SmackDown, and a lot of that was because Vince had underestimated NXT and given all the reins to his son-in-law. It got to a point where fans didn't want NXT stars to get called up to the main roster because that would bring them into the clumsy hands of Vince McMahon and the main bookers of the WWE. And in fairness, the WWE did prove the fans' concerns right there, mishandling many of the wrestlers they called up, including three of the four horsewomen. It's a crying shame that, between NXT's defeat against AEW in the Wednesday Night War, and Triple H's health issues, we're not saying that NXT 2.0 is all the way bad, it's just failing to capture the glory of the black and gold. And based on remarks from people who've been forced out of the NXT, it seems like this was all corporate and family politics. Vince didn't like the fact that the most successful show in the WWE wasn't under his control, and the overall product had to suffer for that. So, pour one out for the NXT. All we have at this point are the memories, and the NXT alumni who are now competing in AEW. 
AEW. Next, in other news, is this the fall of Vince McMahon? Vince McMahon has always been a controversial figure in the wrestling world, but he suffered a major blow this month that had him stepping down as the CEO of the company. He's retaining his role in creative for now, but the man's time in the sun might be coming to an end. This is the latest and biggest development in the scandal concerning a $3 million hush money payment to a former paralegal at WWE. The reason he'd had to do this is because he'd been having an affair with her. John Laurinaitis, the head of talent relations, apparently also had an affair with the same employee, and he's been placed on administrative leave. While the announcements came over the weekend, Vince decided to address the matter himself, in classic Vince fashion. He strutted to the stage, first on SmackDown and then on Raw, to announce that he was stepping down, and his place would be taken, no surprises, by Steph. On Raw, he also announced that the WWE Universe would be seeing more of John Cena. Could this really be the end of the line for Vince? Well, considering the cheers he got on both of his major shows, he's got the universe behind him. He's also got the voting power to avoid being kicked out by the WWE's board of directors. A lot is going to depend on how this case proceeds. The WWE is a publicly traded company, so the real masters are the shareholders. Vince can strut all he wants, but if the shareholders want him gone, he'll be gone. It's going to be a fascinating few months at the WWE. Wait, what's this about John Cena? Among the statements Vince made on Raw was the announcement that John Cena will be making a quick return to the WWE. That's not too surprising, as 2022 marks Cena's second decade with the WWE. But there are teases out there suggesting that he isn't just returning to make speeches in the middle of the ring. Cena's Instagram account posted a cryptic picture of a black boot stepping on the United States Championship belt. This was followed by a video from Austin Theory, the guy who currently holds that belt, taunting Cena. Could we be seeing a clash between the veteran and the rising star, with the US Championship on the line? This could be a great push for Theory, and he's had a few of those lately. A few months back at WrestleMania, he ate a Stone Cold Stunner, and he sold that stunner just like The Rock used to do. Just like we said before, it's really going to be a fascinating few months at the WWE. Finally, he's back, and he's better than ever. Time for some good news. Triple H had taken a leave of absence following a harrowing brush with death from cardiac issues, but supposedly, he was at the Performance Center recently and told Post Wrestling that he's back. That sure sounds like he's back at the steering wheel of NXT. Like, what else could he be doing? We wouldn't blame you for getting excited, but we'd also advise you to temper that excitement a little bit. The return of Triple H doesn't necessarily mean the return of the good old NXT. Vince may be down, but he's not out, and he's probably looking for his son-in-law to continue pushing the brand along the 2.0 path. That was a lot of wrestling coverage, but it's time for us to make our exit now. How do you feel about these revelations? Has Adam Cole's career been heading in the right direction? And do you think there's anything worth tuning in for with NXT 2.0? Get on the mic in the comments section and give us your best promo. And don't forget to pin down the like, share, and subscribe buttons. See you in the next one.